Let's talk about backstroke. Backstroke could have been used long before the early 1800s, but we first see it used as a competitive stroke during the 1800s, and it came about as an offshoot of front crawl. First called back crawl, the backstroke was swum with a bent arm recovery, and the very first backstroke event in the Olympics was in the Olympic Games in 1900. In the 1930s, a group of Australians figured out how much faster it was to do the backstroke recovery with a straight arm rather than a bent arm, and they started dominating at the international level. Soon afterwards, the rest of the world began using the straight arm recovery. Backstrokers were required to touch the wall before they could perform any kind of turn, and they must touch the wall on the back. So until the no-touch flip turn was allowed in 1991, backstrokers used a turn that closely resembled our crossover turn. And as we know, in the late 70s and through the 80s, backstroke pioneers like Dave Burkoff pushed the limits of how far they could kick underwater during backstroke race. This made FINA enforce a rule at first that backstrokers could go no further than 10 meters off the wall. But in 1991, they amended that to 15 meters and applied it to freestyle and butterfly as well. A few of the changes in backstroke technique over the years has included getting away from a very extreme rotation and focusing more on just making sure that each stroke has a great catch and that we're pulling consistent water all the way through the stroke. 